Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about Mordor, the land of darkness. It is the domain of the Dark Lord Sauron, the main threat on the evil side, and also one of the strongest factions for evil in the Mart. There will be seven different fiefdoms for Mordor, and we hope to make each one feel unique. One way to do this is having different kinds of settlements for certain regions but that will be easier to show than tell. I'll cover that in future videos, though it might take some time before we reach that point. Before we dive into the various fiefdoms of Mordor, we should talk a little about Sauron and the different creatures that will be for this faction. Sauron will be in the mod, and he will look like in the first film. However, he will not move around the map. He will remain in Barad-dûr and the mouth of Sauron will mainly speak on his behalf, so it might be pretty hard to actually get a glimpse of him. You, as the player, have the option to deliver the One Ring to Sauron, and if you do, he will become extremely powerful. The player also have the option to take it to Sauron the White, if they play as an Isengard player, but I will talk more about that in the Isengard video. The player can't keep the ring for themselves and use it in any way. If Sauron gets the One Ring, the good factions will have a hard time resisting his power. At that point, he will of course be leading armies and likely have a large following of evil lords. There will of course also be trolls in the Mot, and also different types of trolls, though I'll avoid mentioning them all. We currently have a Don troll model, but Luke, the creator, plans to recreate the troll in higher quality before we implement it in the first release. We will likely not include drummer trolls. Trolls pushing seed sours is still a thing we have to discuss in the team. The great beast of Gorgoroth will also be in the mod, and we already got a done model on our mod the bee page. The beasts will be used to move Grand and there will also be a troop type, somewhat similar to what we know from Games Workshop and the Divide and Conquer submod. The troop will be a type of shock unit that can blast into enemy ranks and create panic. There won't be fell beasts or any other flying creatures in the mod, as we doubt their AI will function in a satisfying way. Other than that, it's a huge task to implement them, and the time it would take to do that doesn't seem to be worth it, if they still are bulky in the end. In general, when it comes to flying creatures, spiders, or anything else, creatures will only be added if we can create them in a satisfying way that fits with the existing mountain blade combat. Directional attacks, blocks, dodging, footwork, shields, weapon types, and more all need to be considered when adding creatures. Skyrim-esque combat is not something we regard as acceptable for the mod. Sheila is currently a wish, so we want to add her, but we would have to make a lot of animations and also design a map specifically for her. We have the same kind of wishes for great spiders in general, but time will tell if we are able to pull it off. Now let's move on to the fiefdoms. First we have the fiefdom of Udun, and it will cover a lot of interesting locations, such as the Black Gate, the Dead Marshes, and Karak Angren, which you might know from the books. In case anyone would be bold enough to attack Mordor, they would likely hit this fiefdom first, which also means that it is likely a very active fiefdom with moving armies and battles taking place within or near it. Besieging the Black Gate will be possible but extremely difficult. The siege will likely work through very large seaters, ladders and paths through the mountains. Rams are not conceivable. Like any of the other great fortresses of Middle-earth, Minas Tirith, Minas Mogul, Baratur, Erebor, etc. It will be extremely formidable, which
which means that it will be very hard to actually besiege this place and win the battle. The next fiefdom is Morgul Vale, where the capital town will be Minas Morgul and the Witch King as its lord. As you can see the team is already working on an Arskull model and it should be ready for some testing in the near future. There will only be two named Nazgul lords, Kamul in Dol Guldu and the Witch King in Minas Morgul. The remaining Nazgul will be split between them as captains, meaning companions to the Lord. So the Witch King will have around five of them, while Kamul will have two. The team have decided to include the Morgul Knights as a troop for this fiefdom. Some of you might know this troop from Games Workshop. On the team we are already working on our own version, but you will have to wait to see how it looks. However, I can reveal that it will be a rather strong unit and from the troop tree we can see it's a tier 9, so it will be one of the best units you can get for Mordor. After this we got the fiefdom of Morgai. This fiefdom is located in the shadows of the Shadow Mountains, with Duothang as its main location. The fiefdom troops of Morgai will be also using a special type of javelin called War Darts. On the screen you can see some concepts we have made for this unit. Kirith Ungol will be part of this fiefdom and we will do our best to make it as accurate to the movie version as possible. Mordor Uruks will of course also be in the mod and can be recruited in all Mordor castles and cities. It will be the main elite troop you can recruit in Mordor. The fiefdom of Gorgoroth is a rather large fiefdom and the capital of Barad-dûr will be its chief location. In Barad-dûr, Sauron will remain with the mouth of Sauron. It will be extremely hard to take this fortress as you can imagine. In barad you will be able to recruit Black Numenorians. There will be very high tier troops and there will be uh, rather few of them to recruit. So it will be unlikely that you will get a huge army with only this type of troop. Different types of Black Uruks will be the fiefdom unit of Gorgoroth. They will be well armored and rather high tier troops compared to the average Orcs you recruit in Mordor. Within Gorgoroth will of course also be Mount Doom and we plan to include the entrance as a special occasion you can visit. The team have still not decided what exactly you will be able to do here but there will be some quests of course. It will also feature in our new game mode called Story Mode where it will play a vital role in one of the last missions for the War of the Ring campaign. If you don't know about this new game mode yet feel free to check it out in another video. As I have said many times before, it is an additional thing we will add. It will not replace the normal sandbox campaign, custom battles or anything else. It will be a whole new thing. Gaea Dualith is a fiefdom at the eastern outskirts of Gorgoroth and it lies beneath the dark ash clouds formed by Mount Doom. The fiefdom unit of Gaea Dualith will be an extra strong Olokai troll. How it will look and what weapons it will use is still undetermined. From our troop tree we can see however that it will be slightly stronger than the average Olokai troll and quite stronger than a mountain troll. Nuren is the southern fiefdom of Mordor, mainly located around the Dead Sea of Nuernen. The land around the lake will be some of the most fertile in all of Mordor. There will be many slaves working under the will of Sauron here. The land was once owned by men closely related to both the Easterlings and the Variaks of Kand. I expect that we will make many of the settlements resemble this in some way or another. From the fiefdom of Nuorn comes the great beasts as previously mentioned. But other than that there will also be different types of war riders. Nuorn will provide some of the only cavalry units for Mordor. In this fiefdom will also be banded parties called escaped slaves. 
as the name suggests, these are some of the slaves that have managed to flee from the clutches of Sauron's will, now fighting for their freedom. Lithlad is the easternmost fiefdom of Mordor and a rather desolate and inhospitable fiefdom. Most of its settlements are located along the river Caran, following into the Sea of Nornen. The fiefdom troop is still undetermined. Now that is all for now. Feel free to like and subscribe, and also remember to subscribe to John's channel and the official Kingdoms of Arta channel. In the future we will post some videos on that channel as well. Also feel free to check out Arta's channel if you want to hear some of the music that will be used in the mod. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.